Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn how to make a link on the same page to open a, a toggle or a tab or an accordion that might be lower down on the page. So before I begin, let me say that I already have the similar tutorial that opens uh, a specific uh, toggle or accordion or tab but from another page. So on link click, when you come from another page, then uh, it can open the accordion uh, directly and scroll to it on the new page that's being opened. I already have a tutorial for this. So if you haven't seen it already, you can uh, go to read it if that's what you are interested in. But for today, we are learning how to make it for sign page buttons how to make them link to toggle. So let's see it in action. If I click here, it scrolls uh, right down to this FAQ section and it opens the right toggle, exactly the one that I linked uh, in the code that I will show you all in a moment. So let's go back up the page. Let's say that we want to uh, click this one which we want to link to the third toggle. So it scrolls down to the right place and opens the third toggle. This works with toggle elements, accordion, tabs, uh, and even the uh, EA add-ons, they have a good tab and uh, accordion element. So I also have support for this. So let's get right to it. Uh, essentially, for this part, you don't really have to change anything specific. So the toggle, you make it exactly as you would normally. There is nothing special here. We don't even need to add uh, a, a class name or anything like this. So it's all uh, related to the buttons themselves. So let's go. Let's go find them. And of course, you will need the code. So in this HTML element, I have the code for all five of them. So the three elements from, from element talk directly, and then the two elements from EA add-ons, so EA tabs, and then EA accordion. So you will find the appropriate code that you will need in the article. So you don't need like all five of them. Uh, yours should look something that's much more like this. So only one of them. And the code itself, you just copy paste it, and then there is nothing to be changed. Uh, it, it just uh, takes care of everything from this point of view. So just copy paste it in an HTML element anywhere on the same page, and uh, it should work just fine. So the only thing that really we need to care about is this, uh, the buttons. So to make them properly, you will want to add a link that starts with the, uh, the symbol. So, and then this link, it can be anything you want, but like for clarity, I like to add uh, toggle one to open the first toggle, toggle two, like this one I gave toggle, toggle two link, and then toggle three. Uh, just for extra clarity, but it's not needed. And what's important to know here is that this is not an anchor link. So there is no matching section that has the ID toggle one. And if that was, uh, the code would not work as well because then the uh, auto scrolling from the normal anchor uh, would try to scroll. And then the scroll that's in the, that's coded in would also try to scroll. So just, yeah, just set this at a link like this, but don't make any uh, matching ID uh, to any section or any element anywhere on the page. And then finally, the only other part needed is to go here, to go in the attributes, and then to give it a, a custom attribute of data uh, toggle open, uh, and then a vertical line, and then zero. If you don't know how to make this vertical line character, you can copy it from right here. So, Copy and then paste it. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes it's not always uh, easy to find it, so you can just copy it. 
So the data got open zero because uh, JavaScript is index based uh, zero. Essentially, zero means the first toggle, one means uh, toggle two, and two means toggle three, and so on. So this one, it has zero, so it will open the first toggle. This one, it has uh, one, so it will open the middle toggle because I have three. And this one, a, it has a data toggle uh, two. So that's all there is to it is. So now let's go, uh, let's uh, refresh the page. So they are all closed now. Let's go and try the middle one because we haven't tested it yet. So let's click it. And it scrolls right there. And it opens the middle one. And I also coded it so that if it was already open when they click, then it doesn't close back. So it stays open so exactly like, like we would want it to work. So let's get a little bit more practical as I like to get in my uh, tutorial. And let's actually uh, make the change. So I have this egg, let's bring it here. How would it work with a tab element? Again, this is just a normal tab element. There is no class name. There is no ID, nothing special here. So let's go back here. So how would, would we make this work with a tab element? So first we would need the code back as it was before. So here we have it. And of course you, you, you could just uh, get the right code directly for the uh, tabs. So th it's this one. It will be clear uh, on the website. It will also be clear which uh, how to call these uh, data attributes. So now that we have the right code back in the HTML element, you go in the button. You can change this for clarity, but really it doesn't matter. So if I won't. And then what's important to, is to change the attributes. So uh, for tab, it's uh, simply data tab open instead of data toggle open data tab open zero now let's change this one here to data tab open one and finally this one uh, here to data tab open two let's update and let's have a look on the page okay so now we have the Tabs. Uh, of course, now the first one is open by default. But let's test out if we wanted a link to the third tab. So let's go here. Let's click. And everything worked. Yeah, it brought us at the right place with the right tab active. So yeah, the only thing you need is the, the right uh, snippet in your HTML element. And then to give it the right uh, attribute. So if you're using the tab element, it will be data tab open. The toggle will be data toggle open. And the accordion is data accordion open. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to remember. If you're using uh, EA tabs or EA accordion, it's the same. So it's also if you're using EA accordion, it will be data accordion open. If, and if you're using EA tabs, it will be data tabs open. So that's all, that's all there is to, to this. Uh, so I hope you enjoy and uh, please uh, subscribe for uh, more content like this. I'll see you very soon.